Start by replacing x with 1 upon x in the expression for fx. We get f of 1 upon x is equal to integral 1 to 1 upon x ln t divided by 1 plus t dt. Now integrating by parts, we get ln t times the integral of 1 upon 1 plus t, which is ln of 1 plus t, the limits being 1 and 1 upon x, minus integral 1 to 1 upon x, the integral of 1 upon 1 plus t, which is ln of 1 plus t, times the derivative of ln t, which is 1 upon t dt. Now to evaluate the integral on the right hand side, put t is equal to 1 upon u, therefore dt is equal to minus 1 upon u square du. When t is equal to the lower limit 1, u is equal to 1, and when t is equal to the upper limit 1 upon x, u is equal to x. Therefore, f of 1 upon x is equal to, in the first term put in the limits, we get ln of 1 upon x times ln of 1 plus 1 upon x minus ln of 1 times ln of 2 minus, in the second term, use the substitution t is equal to 1 upon u. And therefore, that integral is equal to integral 1 to x u times ln of 1 plus 1 upon u times minus 1 upon u square du. Now, ln of 1 is equal to 0. And therefore, f of 1 upon x can be written as ln of x raised to the power minus 1 times ln of x plus 1 upon x plus integral 1 to x, 1 upon u times ln of u plus 1 upon u du. And we replace ln of u plus 1 upon u with ln of u plus 1 minus ln u. Using properties of logarithms, this can be written as minus of ln x times, in brackets, ln of x plus 1 minus ln x, Plus, the second term can be broken into two components. The first component is integral 1 to x ln of 1 plus u upon u du. And the second component is minus integral 1 to x ln u upon u du. This is equal to minus ln x times ln of x plus 1 plus ln x whole square plus integrating the next term by parts. We have integral of 1 upon u which is ln u times ln of 1 plus u, the limits being 1 and x, minus integral 1 to x, the integral of 1 upon u, which is ln u, times the derivative of ln 1 plus u, which is 1 upon u du, minus the final term as is. This is equal to minus ln x times ln of x plus 1, plus ln x whole square, plus Putting in the limits, we get ln x times ln of 1 plus x minus ln 1 times ln 2 minus integral 1 to x ln u upon 1 plus u du minus integral 1 to x ln u du upon u. The first and the third terms cancel. Notice that integral 1 to x ln u du upon 1 plus u is equal to fx as defined in the problem. And therefore, f of 1 upon x simplifies to ln x whole square minus fx minus integral 1 to x ln u upon u du. And therefore, fx plus f of 1 upon x is equal to ln x whole square minus j, where j is the integral from 1 to x ln u upon u du. This can be evaluated by integrating by parts is equal to ln u times the integral of 1 upon u, which is ln u, limits being 1 and x, minus integral 1 to x, again the integral of 1 upon u, which is ln u, times the derivative of ln u, which is 1 upon u du. Notice that the second term is equal to j, and in the first term, putting in the limits, we get ln x whole square 
minus ln 1 whole square minus j. Therefore, follows that 2j is equal to ln x whole square and therefore j is equal to half of ln x whole square. Using this result, the value of fx plus f of 1 upon x is equal to ln x whole square minus half of ln x whole square which is equal to half of ln x whole square which completes the answer.